For these animals, using camouflage is the greatest advantage in surviving an unforgiving sea of predators. Here are eight of the best camouflage sea creatures. Number eight, the crocodile fish. The crocodile fish, also known as the giant flathead, is a fish of medium size that can grow up to 20 inches long with an average recorded size of 14 inches. It may be found in the Western Pacific Ocean, in the coastal waters of the Philippines, Borneo, Papua New Guinea, New Caledonia, and Palu. Crocodile fish have elongated bodies with particularly flat heads that almost resemble duck bills. They dwell in the bottom of shallow waters often camouflaging themselves on semi-exposed or sheltered reefs. The intensity of the coloration that adults have in their bodies varies in accordance to their surroundings. The mosaic pattern on their bodies consists of brown to beige or green to gray spots, which are separated by interlaced blue lines, providing them with ideal camouflage for their surrounding. Their globulous eyes have lappets at the rear, which further aid the camouflaging ability by breaking the outlines of the black iris. Crocodile fish are ambush predators that take advantage of their camouflage to capture their prey, which mostly consists of crustaceans and smaller fish. Number seven, penguins. Penguins use a camouflage technique known as countershading, which is one of the most common forms of marine camouflage. While they are in the water, their black and white patterns help them hide from both predator and prey. The darker top half of the animal blends with the dark waters below, and the lighter half blends in the waters above. The high contrast on the penguin's body makes it one of the best known examples of animals that use the countershading technique. Number six, the leafy sea dragon. The leafy sea dragon may be found along the western and southern coast of Australia. Its body is covered in long, leaf-like protrusions, a feature that gives this marine fish the leafy part of its name. The dragon component of its name is derived from the resemblance it bears to the mythical creature. The leafy sea dragon's appearance offers an excellent form of camouflage due to the lobes of the skin that grow on its body. These characteristics give it the appearance of seaweed. Through its movements, the leafy sea dragon is capable of maintaining the camouflage while it is swimming as well. It moves through the water in a way that creates an illusion of a floating piece of seaweed. The leafy sea dragon also has the ability of changing its color so that it can blend in. Diet, location, age, and stress level are all factors that typically influence this ability. The protrusions that give the leafy sea dragon its remarkable camouflage do not play a role in the propulsion. Instead, this marine creature propels itself using the pectoral fin on the ridge of its neck and a dorsal fin on the back, which is located close to its tail. Number five, decorator crabs. Decorator crabs are known for using materials from their environments in order to hide from predators. They can also ward off predators by attaching noxious organisms to their body. These organisms display various warning signs of their toxicity, such as bright colors, in order to discourage potential predatory attacks, a concept known as aposematism. One researcher described a situation in which particular specimen, great spider crabs, were moved from an environment where they all had camouflaged themselves using a piece of seaweed. Once they were introduced into other environments, they adapted their choices of camouflage after only one night. One of the crabs had covered itself with a dense bush. One had used gravel and small shells to decorate itself, while another had broken off pieces of other marine animals and used that to camouflage itself. Some decorator crab species are particularly specialized in what they choose as camouflage. Some only use sponges, while others only use noxious algae. Other decorator crab species are known for tearing off pieces of seaweed with their claws, chewing them, and rubbing the result on their bodies. The curved hairs that some species have on their bodies all make it easier for them to attach other camouflage material. Number four, deep sea hatchet. Deep sea hatchetfish, also known as marine hatchetfish, are found in the temperate, subtropical, and tropical waters of the Indian, Pacific, and Atlantic Oceans. They range in size, with smaller species averaging 1.1 inches long. 
to the giant hatchet fish, which averages 4.5 inches long, much like its name would indicate. This creature is found in deeper parts of the ocean at depths ranging from 160 to 4,900 feet below. Its name is derived from the fact that it is extremely compressed laterally, only millimeters thick, with its physical appearance bearing a resemblance to a hatchet with the thorax as a blade. Deep sea hatchet fish have bioluminescent photophores which are light-producing organs. Their camouflage technique involves the use of counter-illumination to escape predators that lurk in the deeper parts of the sea. This involves matching the intensity of the light they produce to that of the light penetrating the water from above the surface level. By doing so, the deep sea hatchet fish does not appear darker to the predators that see it from below, as they reduce the contrast of their silhouettes against the background of their environment. The fact that the deep sea hatchet fish's body is extremely flattened from side to side and very silvery constitutes as a form of anti-predatory protection known as reflective camouflage. It almost resembles aluminum foil with the mirror-like microscopic structures on its body that enable it to reach almost 100% reflection. Number three, the big blue octopus. The big blue octopus is found both in the Indian and Pacific Oceans in the reefs and shallow water of regions that range from the eastern coast of Africa to Hawaii. It is a predator with a diet consisting mainly of mollusks, shrimp, fish, and crabs. Unlike most octopus species, which are nocturnal, the big blue octopus is diurnal and mostly hunts at dusk or dawn. Because it lives in shallow waters or on coral reefs and hunts by day, the big blue octopus has a remarkable camouflage ability that enables it to not only frequently change its color, but also the texture and patterns of its skin. A researcher noted having observed a big blue octopus that over the course of seven hours, it had changed its appearance over a thousand times. While moving across the seabed, the octopus changes its appearance and coloring to match the substrate below. The octopus controls the chromatophores, which are pigment-containing cells in its body, using its brain. The colors and texture change almost instantaneously. The big blue octopus will sometimes produce something called passing cloud displays whenever it's near its prey. This creates the illusion of a dark shadow that passes above its prey, which may cause it to move incautiously. Number two, the mimic octopus. The mimic octopus can use its highly flexible body to impersonate other sea creatures. It can also change its texture and color to blend into the environment. It uses pigment sacs known as chromatophores to blend in with nearby coral or algae encrusted rocks. The mimic octopus is the only known marine animal that is able to take shape of such a wide variety of objects and animals. It uses this shape-shifting ability to capture prey as well as evade or intimidate predators. It may choose to mimic a crab as an apparent mate, only to then devour potential suitors. Unlike most octopus, which tend to use coral reefs as shelter, the mimic octopus also prefers river mouths and estuaries. When in open waters, it is at a lower risk of predation due to its ability of imitating poisonous fish. While many animals use mimicry as a survival strategy, the mimic octopus is a master at the technique. The exact number of species it can mimic is not known, but most of them are poisonous. Lionfish, sea snakes, flatfish, and jellyfish are among the most common animals that the octopus imitates. Depending on the creatures it encounters, the mimic octopus will also decide which mimicry behavior is best suited for each situation. In one case, researchers observed the behavior of a mimic octopus in an area that was abundant in flowerfish. They mimicked the swimming actions, speed, duration, shape, and even the coloration of the flounders. Number one, cuttlefish. Cuttlefish are often referred to as chameleons of the sea for their ability of blending into their surroundings by quickly changing their color. This creature's skin has three optical components, which are arranged vertically that enable it to reflect 
or absorb light. In response to visual information, cuttlefish use the neutrally controlled chromatophore to change their pattern or the color of their skin. Researchers have discovered that these cells contain luminescent protein nanostructures that give the cuttlefish its ability to quickly make elaborate changes in pigmentation. As it blends into the environment, each chromatophore can increase its surface area by up to 500%. The pigment granules within the chromatophore can reflect, absorb, and even emit light. Their ability to rapidly change their skin color and patterns is also used for communication and signaling other cuttlefish. Many researchers have referred to this as a type of visual language. Even though it is colorblind, the cuttlefish has a sophisticated visual learning system similar to that of a human in a way that it can perceive contours and edges as relevant information. It then adopts its camouflage accordingly. Its dynamic patterning and the speed in which it changes colors makes the cuttlefish unique among all camouflage animals. Researchers have been studying these creatures extensively and many believe that understanding their ability could ultimately lead to military innovations and new materials such as paints, cosmetics, electronics, and other consumer items. You've likely seen random photos online of this atrocity and may have dismissed them as being photoshopped. But the photos are real and the blobfish actually does look like this. But here's the catch. It only looks like this out of water. The truth is, we don't actually know what the blobfish looks like in its natural environment. This is because the fish is extremely rare and lives at depths over 4,000 feet below. 